Hey everyone, this is Kira, and I'm here to talk about the newest dev blog, number 32, Zucru. If you have not already read the entire dev blog, I really suggest you go and do it, and then go check out um, the lore behind Boomer and Jackie, because it's really good, and it's it, it helps explain their part in the legacy story. Because I know some people, I think if they just saw the characters, they'd be like, well, why are those two here? More they would ask that of Jackie, since Jackie's kind of... Unless you've watched Fosters, you wouldn't really know who he is. And even some people who have watched Fosters are like, I don't know who this guy is. But So the lore really helps out a lot. Um, I am super excited for Boomer and Jackie. Like, the moment that dev blog was released and I saw a picture of those two together in their concept art and their um, model, I would not stop gushing about how adorable they were. Ask anyone on live who was there when I was on and they, the dev blog was released. Ask any of the mods and they will most likely tell you that, yeah, I was a, I was such a mess. I, I love them. I smiled the entire time. I was cooing over them. I was calling them so adorable. And I think a lot of people wanted to hit me because they're like, shut up. We, we don't care. Shut up. But I don't care. It, they were adorable. I still think they're adorable. They bring a smile to my face every time I think of them. But so the new dev blog talks about the new zone, um, Townsville Zoo. I thought it was going to be the zoo from uh, My Gym Partners and Monkey because you know all the animals from Charles Darwin live in the zoo, but that doesn't seem to be the case. There's not too much known about the zoo, just that the animals are missing and Bubbles wants to find them because Bubbles is such an animal lover. And I'm sure if. Um, uh, number three or DD were in the area, they would most likely also do that. So, hmm, I wonder if those two will get involved. Like, if we'll get some missions from them to go check out the zoo with Boomer and Jackie. Because so far, it just sounds like Bubbles is like the head giving out all of the the missions. Like, okay, you two go and find them. So, oh, that's kind of cool. She's like the commissioner. Like, all right, go get them, guys, because they're detectives. But so they're cute. I I don't know what I'm going to do in Legacy now because my original plan was I was going to stick around Rolf after like a certain amount of levels. Like I was just going to hang out there for like a long time and just do stuff there. But um, don't know where Rolf is going to be. So that kind of puts a damper because I don't know how high of a level he'll be. But that was my plan. Like after I hit a certain point, I was just going to go hang out with Rolf. But now that Boomer and Jackie are here... I kind of want to hang out with them. Oh, but I also want to hang out with Robot Jones. So I might be, I might jump around actually. I might just dedicate some days to one of the NPCs and that's the only place you guys will see me. Um, so I guess if you guys know what my favorite characters are and you want to ever meet up with me in Legacy, that probably won't happen. People might want to say like, stay away from me. But if you, if off the odd chance you're like, oh yeah, I want to hang out with this crazy person. Um, just figure out where my favorite characters are and just go check those areas and yeah, you'll find me. I'm kind of easy to find, but also at the same time hard because I have a lot of favorites. But going off tangent because we got to focus on this. Um, the dev blog talks about the zoo, like I just said. It's kind of cool because it's going to be dark and dreary because it looks like they're going for a private eye, but it, it kind of feels noir to me, you know, like the old um, detective ones. And even the music kind of leans that way. Not a lot, but it kind of does. So I'm hoping if Legacy has any cutscenes, that it'll all be black and white. Like everything will be black and white. And at some point, someone's going to comment on it. Like, why is everything black and white? That would be funny fourth wall. But um, at this point, we don't know if there's going to be cutscenes. It looks like the devs are kind of toying around with cutscenes. They're at least toying around with, um, or toying around with, uh, getting the models to move. We saw a couple times, like we've seen the mandroids run after the spawn and we've seen um, Dee Dee and Dexter run away from a number two float. Still don't know what that's all about. but um, So it'd be interesting to see if maybe Boomer and Jackie do move. Like they're never in the one spot at the same time. They're like, they're on a constant track and you got to follow them. Um so that's all things to see. That would be interesting, but that we're a long ways away. So this is all hopeful, wish, 
I, I wish. I wish we could see them move. That'd be so cool. Um, already talked about Boomer and Jackie. They are so adorable, and I don't care. They are freaking adorable. I love them. Um, we also got an upgrade for Bubbles. She no longer has kind of the normal eyes, I guess you can call them. They were kind of just like regular eyes. Her and her sisters had them. But her eyes are a little bit wider, you know, like they look more like she did in the cartoon. I wonder if uh, Blossom and Buttercup are also going to get an upgrade. Actually, I don't know if it's going to be Buttercup getting the upgrade or if it's going to be Belladonna getting the upgrade, but I'm kind of hoping they also get their eyes widened, like back to that cartoonish look. Oh, I almost forgot. They also get uh, nanos. Boomer and Jackie get a nano. And Boomer's nano is so adorable. Like, he looks like a plushie. I really, I want someone to make a plushie of him. Like, whoever can sew and who's ever good at being artsy, because I'm terrible, I haven't learned yet, I'm going to try. I want a Boomer plushie. Like, look at him. He's so cute. And it's so sad. Like, he's so, he's getting picked on in Fusion Fall Legacy because he's got to kick me on the back of his shirt. Like, it's already sad. He's He's got a whole story where he wants to do good, but no one's giving him a chance because he's a rowdy rough and nobody wants to get help by a rowdy rough who's supposed to be pure evil because, you know, they were born evil and then they were reincarnated evil. So, yeah, that was sad. I wonder if Mojo will have, like, a storyline where he tries to bring Boomer back to the dark side. That'd be interesting. I know his brothers definitely won't. They abandoned him, but... um we will be seeing more of the Rowdy Rough Boys because if you go down to the very bottom of the dev blog and look at the silhouettes, you will see what looks like a Brick and Butch one over at the far right corner. So I'm a little interested to see in their designs, but I don't think they'll I don't think they'll match Boomer. Like Boomer is adorable. He's so small and insecure. He's he's precious. And Jackie's going to be so cool because I want I want to hear all his smart remarks. Like, I think that's what I'm most excited for about him because he really just doesn't care. He's in this for the sandwiches. He couldn't really care less about the animals. So I don't know. I'm kind of excited to see if there's like a turn with him, like later on down the road because you guys have like, because the members and him and Boomer have built like such a, a camaraderie. Maybe he'll like change his mind a little bit. Like he'll gain some sort of, interest in people like all right you guys are my friends so i don't know this is all speculation um using it for a story because this really sparked my imagination of like someone on the forum said this should be like um boomer and jackie should star in like a buddy cop film and i'm really leaning towards that because they really could because it kind of works almost a rush hour but not really i've only seen rush hour three so i can't really validate how much it is can, yeah but um because it really helps that jackie would be like the older more emotionally stable one and then boomer's new and he's insecure because i honestly with his powers he could figure this out on his own i really think he could but because he has no self-esteem like he has no self-worth or at least um he has no faith in himself um he doesn't think he can do it by himself but um Jackie obviously is a private eye, but he's not that great. I don't think he is. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting. I'm blabbering at this point because I can't make coherent thoughts. I'm just too... I'm smiling way too much because of how cute they are. Like, they are so cute. And so, yeah. The dev vlog was awesome. It was it was an awesome reveal just to see um, a returning NPC... Uh, two characters, two of two of them that people probably didn't think were going to come out. Well, I think a lot of people thought Boomer was going to come. I think a lot of people were hoping Boomer, ever since Fusion Fall would um, be a thing. But no one expected Jackie. I, I sure as heck didn't expect Jackie. Like, not because I didn't think he would be useful. I just never thought of him. Like, I don't know. So I'm hoping this will open a door for, like, other NPCs that are kind of more obscure. Like, I would love to see number 13 and all his antics, and just finally Dexter, him and Cheese, they would get along so well, and Dexter would probably um, strangle somebody because of how how much uh, interaction the two would have and how chaotic it would be. So, I don't know. I'm super excited. 
I hope maybe there'll be like a side manga story for these two because there's like a picture. I don't know if any of you seen the picture, but like Jackie and Boomer are consulting with Bubbles about the mission and the evidence and it, it is so cute. They are so cute. I wonder if there will be cutscenes, but not in the sense like video game cutscenes, but like how Fusion Fall did it for a while where they would just sh- uh, put up an artwork and just have writing of the people talking. So that would be interesting. I wouldn't mind that. I think cutscenes would be a cool addition. A lot of work on the dev, so I'm not pushing for it. And I'm not really like, it's not going to make or break me. It would just be an awesome addition to the game. You know, like it'd be cool to have it. But all right. I have probably bored all of you with my um, tangents. So (laughs) I should probably get going. But I'm excited to see what else they have in store. And I will most likely um, bug Boomer and Jackie um, the moment. The moment. Like, at first I thought I was going to bug Larry the moment that Legacy was going to open. But no, I think I think Boomer and Jackie are going to get it. Unless um, unless another NPC is revealed and he's, like, my favorite. And maybe I'll go to them first. But so far it looks like Jackie and Boomer are going to be my first ones. So, all right. Um, maybe I'll go back and talk about other characters. Or uh, I see a lot of people have been doing, like, the speculation on the silhouettes. I might do that. I don't think I will because I don't know a majority of these. Like, I can get by with some of them, but uh, a lot of them I I can't make out for the life of me. So maybe I'll do another video about, like, what characters I think would be a cool addition and, like, my reasons why. But those won't be, like, oh, necessary. Like, oh, I want these characters or else Legacy will be terrible. I'm like, no, I think these would be a fun character. So, all right, guys, I'll catch you on the forums. And in Tom's famous words, stay gold.